The script has a built-in screen recorder that makes it easy to capture video and audio from your desktop and webcam. Then immediately edit those recordings into script or share them online. The screen recorder menu is where you can access your options. It's up here under the Descript D for Macs and here on Windows. Click on the up arrow in the notifications area in your taskbar, then click the Descript D. You can also create screen recordings directly from your drive view. Coming back to your options, here you can switch between screen and webcam. Ugh. This recording setup section includes additional options, including webcam and audio inputs. Enabling computer audio lets you capture system audio from other apps. You can also toggle on automatic transcription to have Descript automatically transcribe recorded speech from the microphone track and the computer audio track. Toggling on studio sound automatically applies our non-destructive voice enhancement feature to your speech. This is ideal if you don't have an external mic. It can always be disabled after the fact to revert to the source audio. Click the gear icon to access preferences. This lets you set up a keyboard shortcut to start and stop recording, lets you choose your default recording quality, shows a region that confirms which part of your screen that you're recording, and if you're on Mac, allows you to minimize the recording dock. There are also some basic system settings here. Click on Drive to change where your screen recordings are saved. By default, they appear in My Workspace and then Recordings. Under the ellipses, you'll find two additional screen recorder preferences, an open drive view option and quit, which quits the script and the screen recorder. It won't help you quit your job no matter how many times you click it. To begin your recording, click on the Start Screen Recording button. You'll be prompted to drag to record part of the screen. You can also press space or click to record the whole shebang. Let me show you what dragging to record looks like. Boop. As you do this, you'll see a black box in the bottom corner that tells you what the aspect ratio is. Once you've done this, your recording dock will pop open. This allows you to start recording and stop recording. It also allows you to pause if you're on a Mac OS. If you need to adjust your dimensions, you can just do so by grabbing the little white circles and dragging accordingly. Hit record. Now it's recording. If you've enabled the camera preview window, which is this thing down here, you can adjust its position, shape, and size. Just hover over it, click, and move it around. Make it big or small. Make it square or around. Just to show you this again, once the recording begins, you'll notice this small red recording timer on the right-hand side. You can stop or pause. Again, the pause is only if you're on a Mac. If you want to disable that dock so it doesn't interfere with your screen recordings, once again, if you're on a Mac, open up this menu, click Preferences, and toggle on Minimize Recording Dock. The pause and dock minimization features are on the roadmap for Windows as well. Once you're done recording, you can hit Stop either here with this button or if you're on a Mac by clicking the D up here. You'll then be prompted to edit and publish your recording with the Quick Editor. You can do some basics here to tidy up your recording, and you can also click Publish and Copy Link to send it to the web for easy sharing. Finally, if you want to edit it into script and access all of our features, open the project here and you're editing in Descript. That's all for now. Again, check the description for links with more details on setting up your preferences, as well as editing options after you're done with your recording. Thanks for watching that Descript tip. Do you think it's pronounced Descript tip or Descript tip? Let us know what you think in the comments. Give this video a like and just subscribe. Subscribe. What do I have to do? Don't answer that question.